Hello everyone. Welcome to Infi Minute. In this video clip, we will discuss next problem on superposition theorem. You are given one circuit diagram with three sources, four volts voltage source and two current sources of one ampere and three ampere. The question is find the current in one ohm resistance. This is one ohm resistance through which we have to find out the current. Generally, they mention the current direction also whenever the question is to find current. In case that is not done, we can always assume the direction of current that we want. So let us assume downward current and let me call this current as I. So because we are discussing problems on superposition theorem, we are going to apply superposition theorem to find out the current through this one ohm resistance. We all know that in superposition theorem, we keep one source active at a time and find out the corresponding value of the variable. We do it for all the sources and at the end we have to add all the individual values that we have obtained. So in this case there are three sources. The very first step I will keep 4 volts voltage source active and we will replace 1 ampere and 3 ampere current source. How do you replace a current source? Current source is always replaced by an open circuit. So let's start with step 1 and see what will be the equivalent circuit diagram to find current only for 4 volts voltage source. So that's your step number one. I'm saying keeping 4 volts active. So keeping 4 volts active means the other sources must be replaced. Let us replace the two current sources with open circuit. So if I do that, this particular, so if you do that, you can see both the current sources have been open circuited, removed from the circuit and this is the equivalent circuit that we get. So now we find out the value of current I, I am going to call it I1. And this I1 will represent the value of I only due to 4 volts. As you can see because there is an open circuit on this side, this 3 ohm resistance will not carry any current because it does not have any closed path from the other end. So current in this branch is going to be 0. So there will be current flowing only in this particular loop. So you can see that I1 which is a current through 1 ohm resistance will also flow through 2 ohm resistance because no part of I1 can flow through 3 ohm resistance as there is no closed path available beyond the other end of 3 ohm resistance. And for that reason, 